welcome to this video on quality timeline or the history of quality so what i'm going to do in this around 10 minutes video is take you through the history of quality how quality has changed from inspection to quality control then to quality assurance total quality management and then to today's date where we have excellence models where we have six sigma where we have lean manufacturing where we have iso 9001 2015 which is coming very soon so let's cover this journey quickly so going back to the back history let's say 19th century that was the time where quality was craftsmanship craftsman will take pride in his or her work will perfect his or her art his work teach that work to his or her next generation so that's how the craftsmanship was because there was a reputation attached to a work 20th century started with industrialization that is the time when quality changed from craftsmanship to an industrial model this model required more emphasis on quality because now the work was being done by number of people together and those people together were producing a product or a service 1910 frederick w taylor introduced the concept of scientific management this was the time when the time and motion studies on those sort of concepts were developed way back in 1920s walter schuhart developed the concept of statistical process control spc and used control charts at that time there was a little use for these control charts but now if you look back the backbone of the six sigma concept is control charts because control charts used to be plus minus three sigma which was expanded to plus minus six sigma when six sigma was introduced by motorola so the concept of six sigma which is the latest trend the fundamentals of that go well back to 1920s when Walter Schuhart introduced the concept of SPC and control charts. 1946, American Society for Quality was established. At that time, the name of that organization was ASQC, American Society for Quality Control, which was later changed to ASQ, which is American Society for Quality. So that was way back in 1946. So coming to 1950s, 1960s. So this was, I would say, the golden era of quality management. A lot of new concepts were developed during this time. And most of those were in Japan. So Japan was developing quality management rapidly during this time, 1950s. Fagan Baum introduce the concept of quality cost so you will learn about the cost of quality in this course in an another presentation so that was introduced by fagan bomb in 1950s dr joseph juran he published his first quality control handbook in 1951 and he was invited to japan along with many other quality gurus so juran was there Deming was there during that time. Coming to Deming, Deming trained hundreds of Japanese engineers. Deming was a statistician. So you will learn about Deming and Juran also in this course somewhere else. But Deming was a statistician who introduced the concept of statistical quality to Japanese. He taught that concept to hundreds of quality engineers in Japan. So just like 1950s, lots of things were happening in 1960 as well. Ishikawa introduced seven quality tools and he also introduced the concept of quality circles. These, the, these two things were very fundamental in empowering the workers to solve quality problems in Japan. So workers were given the chance to solve quality problems using these seven quality tools and participating in quality circles so that was 1960s 1979 
Philip Crosby, who is an another quality guru, he published his book Quality is Free, which made him famous because at that time it was assumed that for quality you need to spend money. So more money you have to spend if you need better quality. But what Philip Crosby taught at that time was that by solving your quality problem, you reduce your cost. So in that way, whatever amount you are spending to achieve quality, you get that thing returned back in terms of better productivity, higher sale. So that was his concept of quality is free. 1986, Motorola introduced the concept of Six Sigma. The Six Sigma quality was something which was considered to be the top quality, where if you produce a million pieces of a product, you are expected not to have more than 3.4 defective pieces or in other terms 3.4 defects per million opportunities so that was the target of six sigma six sigma is achieved by solving the problem project by project so there is a fixed team there is a fixed project methodology there is a dmac approach dmac is define measure analyze improve and control so using that cycle, you solve your problems one by one, project by project, leading to a higher quality. Coming to 1987, ISO 9001 was introduced first time. International Organization for Standardization, which is ISO, issued the first edition or the first issue of ISO 9001 in 1987. In 1988 and 1991, two quality awards were introduced. 1988, Malcolm Balgridge National Quality Award was introduced by NIST, which is a US based organization, and this prize or this award is US based award. And the second one, which was in 1991, EFQM, European Foundation for Quality Management, they introduced EFQM Award. This was an excellence model based on number of factors. Organizations were assessed and they were awarded these awards. Malcolm Balgridge National Quality Award and European Foundation for Quality Management. In year 2008, International Organization for Standardization, ISO introduced the fourth issue of ISO 9001. So as we earlier said that 9001 was first introduced in 1987, that was the first edition. Then in 1994, second edition was introduced and year 2000, the third issue of 9001 was introduced in 2000 and 2008, which is what we are talking here, the fourth issue of ISO 9001 was issued in 2008. So after that long history of 100 plus years, welcome back to the current time, 2015. ISO 9001 2015 will be introduced shortly. This particular standard is going through a review cycle. And at the time of making this presentation, ISO 9001 2015 was in final draft international standard stage. FDIS stage and in next two to three months this is going to be formally released so that is what is current today in the field of quality management so with this I finish this hundred plus year of quality management journey here thank you very much for being with me during this journey mm -hmm.